Copper is one of the most widely reused metals. Almost as much copper is recovered every year from recycled copper scrap as is produced from newly mined copper ores. In this lab, we will be starting with copper and ending with copper. We will run it through a series of five different chemical reactions so we can demonstrate its properties and observe some of its compounds. This video will show reaction number one. In this reaction, solid copper metal will react with nitric acid to create nitrogen dioxide, copper 2 nitrate, and water. First, we will cut about 30 centimeters of copper wire, roll into a flat, small coil, and measure and record the mass of this copper sample. Then we will move to the fume hood, where we'll place the copper wire into a 250 milliliter beaker and carefully add 30 milliliters of 6 molar nitric acid. Before we start this reaction, be sure that you record observations of both reactants. Now we're going to heat this reaction mixture very gently on a hot plate. We want to be careful not to allow the mixture to boil. Normally this reaction takes a little while to get started, so I'm going to speed up the video. Now I'll slow things down so you can make some observations. I'm going to hold a piece of white cardstock behind the reaction so you can see one of the products that's being formed in this reaction. Now let's speed things back up a little bit so we can get all of that copper reacted. Now I'm going to hold up the beaker so you can have a chance to record some observations of what's left there. You can see that all of the copper has reacted. Now that the copper is all reacted, we're going to remove the beaker from the hot plate and slowly add 20 milliliters of cold distilled water to our mixture. The water will not be participating in the reaction. The purpose of the water is just to cool and quench the reaction so it stops reacting. 